I always wanted to play the guitar. And I worked for two summers in a row cutting grass and doing odd jobs to save up enough money to buy my first guitar, my only guitar, because after my sixth lesson, the instructor called my mother in and said, he'll never be any good, so <laughs> you're wasting your money. <laughs> my name's Kevin Lavender. I'm with Fifth Third Bank. I'm a national sales manager, corporate lending. Was raised with uh, there were six kids. Uh, my father was an enlisted man in the service, so uh, we didn't grow up with a silver spoon in our mouth. And quite candidly, music was a central thing for us. Growing up, uh, music just was always in the household. Good times and bad times, whether it was gospel on Sunday or whether it was rock and roll on Friday, because it was Friday night. If I can't play the music, I at least spin the music. So I had a good time being a disc jockey in high school and college. Well, I started in Columbus, Georgia, Fort Benning, Georgia, with uh, Foxy 105. See that the radio voice comes out now. Foxy 105, weather for the valley. Uh, just when you put the music on, you can go into a different world, a different space. You can, it, it allows for me anyway to think about where I've been, but also to think about inspiration of where I'm going. We are Music City. To me, this rounds out the offering that we have for Music City. We're not Country Music USA, we're not Country Music, we are Music City. And if you take a look at all the genres that are in town, there seems to be one that's glaringly absent in terms of the history of music and the role particularly that African Americans have played in it. My music matters now because it's time, and it's time for us to move forward with this wonderful and feasible project.